What up, man? This is John. It's your boy IBS Kelso coming back for another MX Bikes banger, and hopefully everybody's having a great Merry Christmas for those who celebrate. This is the new OEM 250 Supercross setups, and I'm very happy to bring these out to you. I'm glad to bring it out on Christmas, so hopefully you know you guys are getting your lickies and chewies in, and some nice cookies, and you guys are opening your presents. This is going to be posted nice and early in the morning. But that being said, as the video goes on, I'll just go ahead and talk about the bikes, and the setups will be appeared on the screen. I gotta say with the Fanuc 250, I was a fan but I wasn't at the exact same time. The reason being said was that I don't like how the, the handlebar looks and um, the way it turns just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like a boat, not at all, but I feel like the turning is very slow and sometimes it can hinder you getting into a tough block. But all in all, it had a good amount of power. I felt like sometimes I did need to stretch it, but it was actually doing fine. And I went on aerial test track for a lot of these tests, and these were all tested actually on KBR round three. So thank you, Aiden, for just coming out with this series. But I think it was just super hot, and it's been hot right now, um, the series. So I thought, why not test it? That way, anybody that's trying to qualify would be great. But like I said right there, I tried to send it, and it wasn't really sending that much. But at the same time, it does have a little oomph. You might just need the rail more. But like I said, my biggest thing with the Fancy 250 is the, the turning. Other than that, the bike's actually pretty great. Will you see me riding it on a regular day basis? Probably not. Now, will I say that this bike is something to where I'm going to be running and trying to qualify, put qualifying laps on? No, this is probably something I'll do inside my deadies and have a good time with. Definitely. So, but with that being said, it was fun to ride and definitely fun to test. Hopefully you guys do give it a chance. Now, on to the gas gas. I really did not want to do this bike only because I feel like this bike was so doo-doo hot bunny bun cheeks that, you know, he kind of just went into the Yamaha you know 250 and 450s gym bag and just started taking whatever creatine they were on so that being said i just really didn't want to ride this bike but it actually did surprise me hugely i mean i'm not even gonna lie it surprised me and um i won't lie it kind of feels like a boat at times and the I, I shouldn't say the gearing i think the bike is just still underpowered but at the same time if you can hit everything correctly it's actually a pretty good flow it's kind of in a good balance to where it's not too heavy it's not too light and you can make the bike turn and you kind of feel balanced on it to where it's like you're almost not trying to reposition yourself too much so i definitely recommend to give this bike a go i will give this bike another go and i will be possibly riding it some more will it make me fully change over no but it was able to conquer a lot of the whoops i was going between third and fourth and the whoops did not feel bad at all so i gotta love that but yeah i was low-key stretching it on some of these just because of <laughs> literally like i said like even on aggressive that the, the bike just couldn't do it but moving over to the beast incarnate and i mean the honda if we go back two freaking updates before this the honda 250 was the best bike i have ever seen come into the game like that and the 450 yamaha 450 literally ruled the game and i think it's back i literally think it's back this bike has so much potential and has so much speed so much power it's going to be a force to be reckoned with. It's possibly my understanding is how much power it is is going to be more for an elite um, player of the game. The reason why I say that is because it has so much power that you're you're probably going to slide out a lot in some of these corners. Um, you really have to take it nice and slow with these new tires, uh, or at least try to like do congressional um, throttle. But this bike is absolutely insane. I definitely recommend to give it a go. And I feel like we do have a good setup. But I'm, I, I mean, literally, it's jetfulless seeing this bike go over some of these huge jumps. And yeah, sometimes I messed up perfectly, but it's perfect through the whoops. It's perfect to be able to get over a, a nice triple and stay in the in the rhythm. Uh, excuse me. But I think the Honda 250 is definitely going to be something that a lot of people are going to go to this uh, this time around. So yeah, I mean, like, like, like I said, I kind of messed up right here, but I was definitely going for that big boy. But let's move on to the Husqvarna 250. I would say this bike has been through hell and back, and the reason why I say that is because this bike has literally almost comparison with the 250. Still rideable, way better than the, two, uh, than the Gas Gas. Um, but it has come back and forth from being bad to good, and I feel like they have finally dialed in to where it's like not going to be the greatest, but it's not going to be the worst. And out of all the 250s, this bike feels the most nimble. Like you can literally turn this bike. Like everybody else feels a little bit like a tank or a little bit balanced to where it's like, eh, you know, you can turn it over and it'll come back. This thing literally goes over to the ground like it's nothing. Now you got to be careful with that because of how nimble it is. It might front tuck, so you have to kind of play with your dead zone and all that good stuff. I do have a good 2024 settings video 
video if you guys want to check that out link will be down in the description below but i think the husqvarna is definitely going to be a force to be reckoned with as well and uh yeah it just moves i mean like it has so much get up has so much power like there's nothing that's wrong with this bike i felt like they finally adjusted it correctly suspension's always been there so it's always been about the power but now this thing has the correct pop correct flow yeah it's it's moving as you can see and i started to move over to the north pole from by jv the reason why was i felt like you know it's christmas time and i definitely wanted to get off a little bit of the kbr so you guys can at least see two jv because i believe jv is going with stone rider this year on some of the tracks so i thought i wanted to get more of that you know flow of what's going to become what's to come but the bike was absolutely amazing absolutely gorgeous um I will definitely give this bike more a go. I feel like I have not done justice for what's really to come with this bike. And I believe that you're gonna see a lot more of the Husqvarna out in the field. So stay tuned with that. I hope that it's not gonna be a whole Husqvarna fest, but it is something that's gonna be chosen and a good choice. But like, look at this, like literally getting over things, like being able to get some triples in. I mean, it's just, it, it's beautiful. Like I, like I said, I probably could have been pushing more trying more but honestly it's a great bike move on to the kawasaki now i have literally said this bike was a hazard two updates ago right i have said that this was anybody that rode a kawasaki was a hazard had too much front um front tuck problems it just had no umph through the uh the whoops um you can see right there it just blitzed it honestly and i gotta say here's a lot of power there's not really much front tuck in here especially with the setup that i'm giving you now i don't know too much about motocross but i will say that the pop has been get like delivered in this bike now and you can see it in the whoops too like i think that was the biggest thing last update is like it just couldn't make it through the whoops to save its life but it's back it's here to stay and i hope you guys give this one a go i might go back to team green but there's way more bikes to be shown and i think this is something that's gonna you know kind of surprise a lot of people we might see some green some incredible hawk out there um also if you guys have made it this far just type green in the comment section just to see who's really been like <laughs> sticking around i would greatly appreciate it. and if you guys haven't hit that sub button you guys are new drop a sub hopefully you guys are enjoying the setup hopefully all these setups and you know having a really great christmas but like you said like you can see the pop here in the north like i know this is a very popular track so I, i'm trying to make it to where when you guys like get on this track you guys at least, have, at least have a couple bikes that you've already seen through this video be able to know that you can make it through some of these sections and i believe the kawasaki is that bike right now so please give it a go i feel like it's definitely here to stay um yeah this, this thing is insane though i mean just look the best thing that you can do is just rail and it's got the speed i don't i don't think it's i don't think it's trumping speed at all so the biggest thing is just making sure you can get over the pops so yeah with that being said let's go to the ktm ktm that i think this is the only one i have a skin for right now at the moment and the reason why i have a skin for it is because actually i switched over from the green kawasaki to the ktm and um yeah i'm glad that they really didn't mess with this bike a lot at all i think the biggest thing is understanding your gearbox with the ktm i don't know what it is i think ktm has the weirdest gearbox inside of the game for you to understand how much how much low end to, to high end you need for this bike um especially switching to supercross but still munches the whoop still get through i'm i believe it's a 1353 or something like that i changed from a 1251 or 52 definitely worth the 1353 um you'll see why in a lot of sections i think in kbr aiden had said what was my gear um what i i, I gotta be honest with you when what i could have qualified i think the biggest thing was messing me up is that i couldn't hit some of the quads because of my gearbox so thank you aiden for coming through and actually just you know kind of telling me that it could have been my gearbox and it's just one thing after the other to where it's like little minor fixes that i can easily help out with but yeah aiden's hosting that kbr um series and yeah i've just been grinding it's been great practice i have not made them i've only made round one but it's fun to know that you know i'm not too far off the pace so you know got to keep grinding baby but that being said the bike is phenomenal it's so beautiful it's so great and i'm glad that it's still a bike for me to actually have as an option to where they didn't just throw it down in the dirt you know um so yeah i definitely hopefully ktm is in on your mind as well i feel like this go around it's not to where you can choose between one two maybe three bikes i feel like anything from the fancy to now you guys have a lot of choices like i said personally i won't do it but let's move over to the grown man's bike suzuki I gotta say I was impressed with this bike a lot. Um, the only thing that I think is a downside, could be a plus side as well, is the how heavy it is. Um, it is a tank to be reckoned. Like this, this thing's like a juggernaut. Like I'm not gonna lie, it's so heavy. So what's what's crazy? It has such great low end torque to where like it balances it out kind of to where like 
you're able to give it the beans and you have to give it the beans in order to get any speed but it's like it's so way down due to it being a tank so you really have to understand where your gearbox needs to be and other than that it's gonna float like a butterfly and sting like a bee um, I think it's possibly in in one of these clips that I would, that's coming up to where it's like you can give it as much oomph but because of how heavy it is it's gonna carry so you have to be careful with like what speed you're going with and how much flow you're gonna have to scrub probably hard but sometimes scrubbing can bite you in the A because you know how much speed you're carrying and how heavy it is might throw you but all in all it's a it's a great bike I actually have fun and I still have fun riding this bike a lot like I, I will say I'm, it's probably not going to be in my top three but for a fun bike to ride with then my like servers of hosting and streaming I will hop on this bike from time to time and give it a good to go like I am not a huge Suzuki fan at all for a lot of you guys that know but I will um, endure this bike and see the change as it continues to progress maybe I start my going you know team banana or something I don't know but this is something I've been waiting for you guys to see um, I definitely think I am going D1 bound to become a TM rider um, reason why I say that is it's like I'm a huge advocate of, of an underdog a huge advocate of, of you know doing underdog things and I think that's why I went to the Kawasaki last update is because it was I was harping on it so bad of being bad that when they actually were able to update it they didn't make it the best but they did make it like to where motocross was viable and indoors was low-key a viable until you got to the whoops this bike is all all around great like I can't lie to you this bike feels like it's the fastest one out there like it may not be the most nimble but you can turn this bike over without you can literally like scrape the handlebars without this this bike front tucking um, I just feel like it's a flow to it's where it's like jetless, effortless like I'm not lying like sometimes you're gonna see in here and you will see it that like I can't get over certain things but that's me knowing not knowing when to sit when to sit so it's still a skill diff on my own hat on behalf on my own behalf but I think the TM is definitely something to try. I hopefully you guys give this one a go. I'm, I'm not even lying to you. Like I, I, this bike has grown on me within a short amount of time. Like immediately once when Sentinel Suspension had gave this. Also huge shout out to Sentinel Suspension. Um, link is down in the description below. This is kind of something I wanted to talk to the end of the video about. Hopefully you guys are still here. But yes, if you guys are looking for something, any of these setups to be dialed in correctly to yourself, definitely go to the link down in the description below. Sentinel Suspension got us completely right. Um, that's where I get all my suspensions at. And uh, they were happy enough to make us a public suspension for everyone for the 250s. So also let me know down in the comment section if you guys would like a 450 video of this for indoors and maybe outdoors for 250s and all that. But with that being said, let's get back on topic. TM, definitely a go. Um, Sentinel did get us right with this. As soon as we got on it, man, me and Lil K, dude, we just felt great. I mean, like, we felt great. It was just like we, we wanted to get right back on this bike, and I've been having a blast playing with it. So I think a little bit more tweaking, maybe a little bit more power at times, but I don't think the power's gone because I feel like I'm super quick and I can keep the keep the handlebars on it, you know? But I, I, it's crazy that I shouldn't say I saved the best for last, but, like, the best is for last. If you guys are looking to run everybody to the ground this year right now and this upcoming Supercross, if you really want to be the top dog, I definitely recommend the YZ2024. Reason being said is every other bike you feel like you have to either push in certain spots or you have to be super crazy in another spot. This is an all balanced around bike. Like I can't lie to you, this bike has been balanced from the moment I got on it and it feels comfortable. Like when I say like how the Husqvarna was like you can turn it over just great how quickly and then you know like some are like a tank this bike is literally the this the, of everything like it, it can turn over but it can bring back up it's not over too I mean it doesn't turn over too quick it's just great and it's got the right oomph it's got the right traction it's got the right power I think Yamaha is literally on top I can't wait to try out the YZ 2024 um for I mean the YZ yeah is it 2024 maybe 2023 I can't wait to try out the YZ uh, 450 just be in general to give it a go skizzy did say that it was actually a force to be reckoned with and I have to give it a go but yeah man I, I mean this is the end of the video I want you guys you know to have these setups I don't want to gatekeep and I felt like me and sentinel suspension has really worked and I gotta shout out little K man he's absolutely an amazing triple threat bro we're gonna keep going to the top that also being said thank you guys so much for support tonight like 
like every night and um yeah merry christmas once again so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you guys enjoy the setups and you know let me know down in the comment section which one you guys thought was your favorite and which one you've been rocking so far glad that you guys can do it and i do apologize for not doing the outdoors but supercross season is actually super close right now so we have to push we have to push and keep grinding but thank you guys so much it is your boy ibs kelson i'll catch you all in the absolute next one pa 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 peace